I think I can say, is the one of the only artists in the world, in all the story, that has created a new language. Left behind a very important legacy of freedom. He said, I want people to communicate with my art. I want to be like a gardener that gives seeds for free to plant in every other person's garden. Miro probably produced some of the most iconic paintings of the 20th century. And in 1941, he had a major retrospective at MoMA in New York. Several years later, he made his first sculpture. So we're talking about, in a sense, almost a separate career. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. Hello. Yeah. What about this place? It works, huh? I'm here because uh, Peter Murray from the YSP, he got in touch with me with, uh, with the idea of making a big, big and, uh, exhibition of Miro sculpture but uh, not an exhibition of a few pieces without sense. A real exhibition, uh, anthological. I mean, from the beginning of the work of Miro in the 30s until the, the 80s. And uh, you, can, you can put lower the big ones, perhaps. He continued to make sculpture right until the end of his life. And in a sense, I think uh, sculpture became, towards the end of his life, more dominant than painting. This piece is very important because it was created in 1981 and is a project for the major outdoor sculpture that is right now in Barcelona. And what really means to me is the example of the forces coming out from the earth, going up to the sky. My grandfather made this one extremely high in Barcelona to get the welcome to all the visitors that were coming to the city and has a very strong, subtle purity, like a totem from an African primitive tribe. I think it's very well represented. I'm glad because uh, this space is made for the sculptors, for the three-dimensional works, of course. And I say, when I visit the first time this place, I say, okay, go ahead, go ahead, because uh, it's not usual to find the kind of places in, as a museum. Uh, we're installing the uh, fantastic sort of Miro sculpture, the Gothic piece. Well, it's taken from a huge donkey's yoke. So we're installing that, and then on top of it, we'll be installing the next element, which is a huge hat box, which sits on top of the sculpture. We need the whole of the team, or practically the whole of the sculpture installation team to do this. Having first turned the piece from the horizontal to the vertical, uh, which is a bit tricky, uh, we've then positioned it on the concrete base, chosen the precise orientation for it. It's a fantastic coup to, uh, to get such an amazing exhibition of Miro's sculpture. But in total, we've got 94 objects here in this exhibition. And I have a collection of Miro sculpture like that that's never been exhibited before in, in, in the UK. It was just amazing for YSB. I think that is quite interesting to see how well they melt Miro and the landscape in Yorkshire because here you have these beautiful England green hills and these beautiful 400 acres spaces of huge 100 years old trees that are magnificent and seeing my grandfather's bronzes creating a dialogue with the landscape here at Yorkshire is very, very beautiful.